A planned mosque in South City is taking some heat tonight. People who live in the area claim the project has stalled and now the lot is being overtaken with bugs and rodents. The mosque is expected to open in the McKinley Heights Historic District near Interstate 44 in Jefferson. But the group proposing the mosque is pushing forward despite obstacles. News 4's Emily Pritchard is live sorting out what's next. Steve and Courtney, you can see here at the site some of the pooling water, which is one of the things some residents are complaining about, along with some of the piles of debris here. I did talk with the Kuba Foundation, the group behind this project. They told me this mess isn't even theirs and that it's just one of the many obstacles they've been facing. McKinley Heights resident Tyler Vitale and his wife were attracted to the character of this historic walkable neighborhood. The beautiful red brick. We have historic uh, buildings in the area. He would like to see something happen with this lot not far from I-44. More buildings that people have to um, go into and experience, whether it's for religious purposes or shopping or dining. We want to see that on Jefferson. Absolutely. The McDonald's got redone. Why can't this lot? This is where the president of the Cuba Foundation says they plan to build their mosque. There was a lot of obstacles in the way, especially from the neighborhood association, but uh, we tried to cooperate with them. We attended the meetings, etc., and we did as much as we could. Tim Kaminsky says they bought the land in 2012. He says the most recent hurdle was a complaint made to the state of possible toxic chemicals at the location because it was once a laundry. Kaminsky said they were forced to wait on the Missouri Department of Natural Resources to test and that they have now been given the OK to proceed. But in the process, they lost their contractor. Now we're just waiting on the bids from the different contractors. He says the Cuba Foundation has been in St. Louis for nearly two decades and they have outgrown their space located less than a half mile away. He says they want to be good neighbors and share the community they have been in for years and now ask for patience. The timeline is ASAP as soon as possible. As for these piles of dumping here, all of this debris, I'm told they did report it to the Citizen Service Bureau. They've now been told it's their responsibility to, responsibility to clean it up, and they do plan to do so. As for these two historic buildings back behind me on the property, they say that those have to be brought up to code by August. Reporting live in McKinley Heights, Emily Pritchard, News 4.